Hey, you all, Sarah here, inviting you to my live Facebook party, my paparazzi party tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Center Time. We're going to be playing a game and we're going to be doing a like and share, darling. And you might just win a free piece of jewelry, you never know. Um, <clears throat> if jewelry ain't your thing. That's fine. Just ignore this video. And if story's your thing, I hope you pop over and join me tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Center Time. And down in the link, I put where I do my live um, Facebook paparazzi parties in the link, that, that Facebook page. Click it and so I can add you and you can join and I can accept. And you can hang out with me. And look at pretty jewelry. I have lots of new inventory in. And if jewelry ain't your thing and um, you still want to come over and just chat with me, I love that too. And um, to get to know my viewers and everything. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you're all popping on and saying hi. This is my first live, you know, doing a live intro on my YouTube. So we're trying to figure out stuff. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing from now on. is doing live invitations <clears throat> and make sure you stay tuned tomorrow because i have another kind of party you might be interested in and i'll do another live invite for it tomorrow thank y'all for spending some time with me i can't see the con how do i turn the thing off let me see here oh thanks let me read some comments so i can answer some questions Okay, if you requested to join, I'll um, I'll, I'll uh, approve you. Hi, Coco from Germany. Hi, Blue Wolf from uh, New Jersey. Yes, you can share this on Facebook. That's fine, April. That's wonderful. It's going to be a live Facebook paparazzi party, jewelry party. If you don't know what paparazzi jewelry is, all the jewelry is $5 except for the kids, you know, plus tax. And then I ship, if you're not local to me for local delivery, <clears throat> then I ship it to you. And down in the description, it tells a lot more about the shipping and how many pieces per item. Um, it's one to four pieces. is $4. Five to nine is six. Ten or more is free shipping. Also, paparazzi only lets us ship within the United States. They will not let us ship out of the United States. I don't understand why. I don't know why they don't. Uh, they need to tackle that problem. Um, but if you wanted to buy and you had somebody that could ship it, I could ship to in the United States and then they could ship it to you, that would be good too. Um, not right now, but eventually I will have another blog up back for my cooking videos. Right now, I am working on a cookbook. It's a process. And so, I have four, five, or six girls. We're working very hard for the cookbook. Get it out for you. I'm glad you're all posting where you're from. I just love to know where people are from. Oh, could I come to UK? <laughs> I wish I could. <clears throat> I've never been out of the United States. I've been to um, some of the states I've traveled to for vacation, but I've never, I've, I've never been on a plane or anything like that. We always drove to like Florida, Ohio, Michigan. Maryland, Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, stuff like that. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you're all propping on and hanging out with me. I wanted to read some of the comments and answer a few questions before I end the live. Yeah, I'm in West Virginia, but I was born and raised in Kentucky. Well, no, I shouldn't say born. I was raised in Kentucky, but I was born in Ohio. Um, 
it was an emergency, and they had to um, get my mommy to, even though we lived in Kentucky, it was an emergency, and um, they had to take me early, and they took her to um, Ohio State University Hospital, where that's where a lot of her doctors was. Well, hi, Christina. You're right. You're from Kentucky, so you're right next door. Yeah, I grew up in Louisiana, Kentucky. Oh, also, y'all have been asking me to get a P.O. box. Well, I got one today. So, eventually, we'll put it up in the videos permanently. The, you know, um, the address and everything. So, if you want to send me letters, little trees, or whatever. Wherever it is. Cards for Christmas, whatnot. Uh, her birthday or Jamie's birthday, whatever. Um, it's it'll be up there soon, and um, I'm going to be taping a couple videos this weekend. Um, hopefully we'll get them up on YouTube soon. I've still got two or three videos that need to be edited. That was from two to three weeks ago. Um, I've got so much stuff going on and where we have to stop and do other stuff and you know everyday life you know um <clears throat> you you have to do your everyday life stuff you know and um I wish I could do YouTube full time you know but that 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 ain't happening right now <clears throat> Hello, hello, Nick. Happy birthday. Yeah, I've been wanting to do a seafood bowl. I've done one before, and it didn't turn out good, and so we didn't put it up. Um, we had a lot of neighbors doing a lot of construction, and it was just too much noise in the background. So we didn't put it up. So I plan on this summer doing a seafood boil. Yes. I've got a lot of stuff down on the list. I've got peace. Somebody asked me to do pea salad. Somebody asked me to do, um, you know, the shrimp boil. Oh, Lord. I've got my list in there. Um, oh, what else is there? Somebody asked me to do beer pot chicken or soda pop chicken on the grill. I did that on my old old channel before I took it down. Um, um but uh, just keep uh, um commenting, and I always see them. Uh, yeah, seven okay. Yeah, thanks. Um, if you want stuff, I can write it on down on the list, and eventually I'll get to it. Yeah, a grace or e grace or whatever. How if you say your name? If you don't like it, then get out. Yeah, caramel cook. Yeah. Um, Jamie doesn't cook as much. He did, he can do a few things like make pancakes, make eggs, and stuff like that. But he he said he's going to get back and doing videos. You know, he's got an older video up with his biscotti <coughs> and. Didn't you do cookies too one time? It was a lemon pound cake. Yeah, it was a lemon pound cake. So, uh, I'm trying to get him to do a little bit, maybe more cooking videos too. And get him in the kitchen and me behind the camera. Um, my favorite type of food, I like pasta. And I love veggies. Sauteed, steamed roasted whatever i love them yes yes just just make um this will say the comments and then i'll go through and write down on the list of stuff that you guys want me to do <clears throat> yes yes i'll try to do some more german food um is this neutral this german Baby. Huh? Is Snitchel German? Yes. Yes. I've been wanting to do Snitchel and 
spatula, spat, spat. It's like the little, the little, little noodle things. And yeah, um, um, I'll have to look into the Greek recipes and stuff. You, yes, yeah, spat, spatula. Thanks for t uh, telling me about. Oh, thanks. Um, I have done water bath canning before. Usually it's jellies and jams. Um, but <clears throat> I haven't got back into that. That's the only thing I've ever done. But I do want to, um, I'm afraid of the pressure cookers that's on this, you know, that goes on the stove. So they come out with <clears throat> a bowl hash, I think. Um, the electric pressure cookers that you plug in, um, they have the water bath and the regular one. And I'm thinking about getting both of them and start doing some canning. Um, yes. That'd be down in the future. Um, I can make baklava, but I can't have it. Jamie would have to eat it because I can't have the nuts anymore and stuff. I thought about that, making uh, merchandise for Sim to Sarah, but I don't know how to get ab about that and do that. Um, <clears throat> sure, I'd like to do some product testing. If it's something that we're going to use, the fam family's going to use, you know. I don't want something I'm just going to do one video and then it's going to go in the closet and I'm never going to use it again. It has to be something that I'm going to multipurpose and use a lot of. Um, I have watched a couple videos of the, um, how do you say the mukbang, 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 um, I like, it, it was okay, um, but I don't think I'll ever do it myself. I do have a lot of dessert videos already up, Tiffany. Um, okay, Jacqueline, you just, uh, private message me or, um, <clears throat> I'm doing good, Ashley. Um, my favorite YouTuber, um, I don't, I have so many, I don't have a favorite. Because there's, there's no way I could pick a favorite. There's lots I watch. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to be making a lot more vegetarian recipes soon. Um, <clears throat> we're trying to switch over a little bit more economical, you know, vegetarian. And also, if you don't might know about me, I don't eat a lot of meat. Um, people might think I do because I cook a lot on the show. I eat chicken, fish, and once in a great while, I have a steak. And it's usually in the summer months. And um, once, and sometimes I'll have a burger a couple uh, times during the summer, you know, in grilling seasons. Um, I don't like lamb. I tried it. I always try to make try something to make sure, you know, I might like it, you know. It's always good to try something new. I like shrimp. Yes. Yeah, um, I don't like lobster. Nope. You think people, I would, you know, because people said it's so good. I've tried it, you know. Okay, yeah, message me, Jacqueline. <laughs> My cook cooking wear. I'm actually switching over to Tupperware cooking, cooking wear. I've got one skillet now, and it is awesome. Um, Remember when I had did a video... Me using my red copper chef pans, they're starting to stick, so that's irritating me. So they're gonna be tossed out soon. I can't take it. Um, but the one uh regular copper chef pan is holding up, it's nothing sticking in it. I just don't understand why their red copper chef pans are. Yes, it is so humid, it's in the 90s here and it's so humid outside that it looks like it's going to come a rain 
but I don't know if it's going to. We're supposed to get severe thunderstorms, but where it's so humid outside, it just saps your energy right out of you as soon as you go out the door. <clears throat> Is firecracker shrimp spicy? I can make it, but Jamie would have to use it, eat it, um, because I can't eat a lot of spicy food now. So, no more hot, hot, hot sauces like habanero and stuff. No, nope. I used to love all that stuff. My ear wire, Sterling. You talk about the jewelry, the earrings, paparazzi jewelry. Um, they are uh, nickel and lead free. Yeah, I'll try to do more cast iron recipes. Um, right now, I don't know if I got... Yeah, I got one pair of hoops. Their hoops are all different sizes. You never know what you get. When I order a bunch... I mean, they put new out every day. And then, usually, once or twice a week, I go in and do an order... And buy a lot of stuff. And then I have my parties always on Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That, ne that never changes. Unless I be sick or family member gets sick, uh, something major or something like that. Or maybe the internet's out or something like the electric or something. Yeah. But it always will be Friday night. You're welcome. I have so many... Uh, comments popping up that they're flying. Some of them I can't even get to read yet. Um, of course, you know, I already all, uh, always support Tovia because he supports me. Uh, um, he's got his ch cooking channel. Um, Rick's Kitchen. Did we still have that in the default? Yeah. Both Rick's and uh, Tovia's? Yeah. Yes, they're both in the default description. You can find them channel. Of course, I've done a couple collabs with the Maureen's Kitchen. Um, oh, there's so many that I watch. So many. The Needy Homesteader. Um... I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> That's so sad. Um, there's so many. I just can't think of uh, you know more right now. I'm coming out with a cookbook. Um, and we're working on it. That means I would like to do a, a cooking video together, me and Jamie. But I would have to, I'm going to have to get a tripod and learn how to use it. Put the, put their camera on the tripod and learn how to, uh, you know, use it, you know, and stuff. I'm so glad I made you start cooking again, Jesse. Yeah, if you can't watch me um, on my Friday nights, I always put the next, usually Sunday or Monday, then I put the leftover jewelry that, you know, didn't sell that's still available. I make albums on my little Facebook group. Also, there is a website. Is it on the default too, baby? Yeah. To my website, to my paparazzi website? Yeah, the paparazzi website. It's in the yeah, default. Uh, and so is my Tupperware website. You can always chop, uh, shop, oh Lord, shop 24 7. I can't talk today on them. It's in the, it's in the, just like little permanently in the description. Both of them sites are. Um, no, that one time we did, um, I did it with that fake meat because we had some vegetarians coming over, and I haven't done it with meat. Uh, I need to do that, yes. 
I would love to do grocery hauls, but I can't. There's so much stuff. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work taping, and then Jamie's finally sitting down and getting a break to edit. And, you know, sometimes it, sometimes it's hard. I already got a lasagna recipe up. I actually have a vegetarian one and a regular one. Oh, thanks, polar bear. I have never cooked rice in the crock pot. I would have to we I'd have to look up information online for that. No, but I do plan on doing the strawberry petrol salad soon for the show. I thought about doing that for um, my 4th of July club that's coming up with somebody. I am 39. Oh, he's asleep right now. Sometimes he does make an appearance on the cooking videos or sometimes on the paparazzi shows on um, Friday nights. You can see his little ear where he sits on the little table on a notepad and you can see his little ear in the video. Yes, I, I eat eggplant and stuff, but it has to be roasted. And this, because it has all them seeds in it, and they have to be so tender that way, you know, I can't have a lot of seeds and stuff. I have to watch what I take in. But I do have a plant parm, and then I have um, a plant curry, baba ganoush, which is an a plant dip. Um, I believe I even have a casserole with a plant in it. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yes, I have cooked things that didn't really turn out well. I have burnt bread before. Burnt something up. Yes. Oh, thanks. Everybody says that. I don't know. I've always looked young like when I was in high school people thought I was still uh like 13 or 14 and I was already graduating 18. No where I put the bread in the oven forget about it. Because you got a phone ringing, you go answer it, or you got somebody knocking at the door, or something else catching my attention. Yes. I, and people don't know this, but I do eat a lot of healthy food. Um, I have a salad every day for lunch with um, stuff in it. Sometimes I'll put tuna in it because I do like tuna. Sometimes it's. Um, all kinds of veggies. Of course, you know, I have to take the seeds out of my tomatoes. And I have to get the um, seedless cucumbers. Which, I, they're not really seedless. But they're the English cucumbers. You mean it collab, or collab with you, Summer? What kind of channel do you do? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, thanks. My kitchen is a real kitchen. It's going to have stuff going on. You know, there's going to be stuff piled up because we live in a double wide trailer and they don't make a kitchen big enough for a family. Or any of the closets or any room in the rooms. I've got a baked bean recipe up. That would be good for 4th of July. I do have a couple 4th of July things I'm going to be doing up. Getting up. 
um, <coughs> at the end of June, especially that crab that will be going up with somebody for the fourth. My yellow salt and pepper, they're right on the table. They're over there. I thought they were on the table. I was going to reach and show you. I got it. Uh, uh, my mother, mother in law got them off of QVC and they're um, Kuna Recon brand. And you can get them on Amazon. Sometimes they still have them on QVC when they have specials and whatnot. Um, but I have seen them out on Amazon. You're just going to have to type in Kuna Recon. Um, I was going to show you what they look like. But um, I'm starting to retire them because I've, I've had them for years now. I still use them once I get raw, but I'll be starting to use my new Tupperware salt and pepper shakers that I'm going to get in. <coughs> oh, thanks. Well, you can find them on Amazon, Jesse. And Coles. I think Coles, yeah, Jamie says Coles had them. I mean, there's different colors. You don't have to get the yellow like I had. And then I've seen them. I've seen black, red, white. I'm from West Virginia, but I'm originally from Kentucky, but I was born in Ohio. Them with chicken measuring cups, I don't have no longer. I give them to a uh, family member. But um, they were from QVC also. Um, my mother-in-law loves QVC. Uh, she gave them to me. They were from the Ch Temptations brand. Yeah. A lot of my plates and stuff you see me use in the video are from Temptations too. Um, we're, I have company coming tonight, and then I'm going to do the jewelry party show tonight, and then Saturday, I'll just tell you what it was, I'm going to be doing a live Tupperware party for me Saturday night, um, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, I'll be doing an invite for it tomorrow, um, and then the Sunday... I believe we have company coming. And then Monday will be just be us and I'll be doing the grill out. But I'll be cooking all all weekend. You know, this and that. Tonight we're going to have um, burgers, cheeseburgers on the grill and fries. You know, with all the, you know, the toppings for the burgers. I think I'm going to also saute some. Um, got, I got a good deal of mushrooms. So I'm going to saute them in case they want some on top of their burger. I absolutely adore mushrooms. I could actually pile um, saute mushrooms on a burger without the burger patty. And add cheese and the lettuce and everything, all your other toppings, and eat it. And I'd be just fine, happy. I might even do that tonight. I don't know what to tell you that when I put in my event things, it makes me pick Eastern Standard Time. We are on Eastern Standard Time, aren't we? Yeah. Yes, yeah, we're on Eastern Standard Time. I know there's a couple girls that I watch. <clears throat> did their them do their paparazzi jury shows on some nights, and they're in Central Time. <clears throat> Um, Saturday, um, I'm going to be doing that, um, live video for that lot for Tupperware party. And I'm going to be doing, um, two demo recipes during the live party. And I'm going to be doing Hawaiian ham salad, um, with fresh pineapple tidbits, you know, fresh pineapple. 
and got something in my eyeball. Probably an eyelash. Um, and then I'm also going to be doing a dip, and I'm going to be doing sour cream and onion dip, and that's probably what we'll uh, be having tomorrow evening for dinner, and then, um, Sunday, um, what did I tell you we were having? Oh, we're doing, we have company coming, so I'm going to be doing, uh, they asked for polo sausage, um, kind of looks like hot dogs. I'm going to do them on the grill, and they can top it with mustard or whatever they want kind of toppings, and I'll probably make a big old salad, um, and probably uh, serve some baked beans. I don't know what I'll going to do yet. And then Monday, I'm doing, not today, it's bothering my eyeball. Um, Monday, I'm going to do, um, since it's just going to be uh, us over here, I'm not having company. I'll fall get the rest, and I probably will put some <clears throat> beer brats, beer brats on the grill. But I probably won't eat mine. I probably just stuff my poor little hot dog bun with um, tomato, lettuce, onion, cheese. <clears throat> Maybe if I have any leftover sautéed mushrooms, I might put them in them. And then um, I'm not sure what kind of signs we're gonna do. I'm also going to make um, some, <clears throat> since I'm having company tonight, I'm going to make um, my mother-in-law's banana pudding. And it's up on my YouTube. It's an older video. <clears throat> the worst food I've ever had was a raw oyster. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I'll... I don't think I could eat caviar either. Yeah, I plan on to for uh, this summer barbecue ribs, yes. Well, eventually, when I get all my pantry and cabinets fixed with the modular um, sets from Tupperware, then I will do a pantry tour. Yeah. To, right now, it's like... So it might fall on, out on your head when you open the door. Um, where um, I've got spices and everything, you know. Um, yes, I have had sushi. I don't care for the raw fish and stuff, but I do like the veggie sushi but i don't remember what it's called but i gotta make sure i can't have one with the sesame seeds on it i like that kind of sushi yeah my favorite kind of pudding is pistachio yeah if you don't want want to say anything nice then get out Oh, I'm glad you like the pie, pad thai recipe. My cat's name is Mr. Winter because he was born in the wintertime. Um, my chicken salad is chicken. A little bit of onion. Sometimes I do celery if I have it. Mayo. Just a little bit of mayo. Salt and pepper. Did I say onion? No, I've never, never churned butter, no. I've watched my mamma. Yes. But I have never done it. I 
I do both. Usually in the summer, <clears throat> some um summer and fall, we do a lot of grilling. Yeah. And usually for me, you know, since I don't eat a lot of uh, meat, usually I get the portobello, big portobello mushrooms, and take out all the well, like I would call them like the little gill things, and then um, put a little bit of oil on them a little bit, and put some seasoning on, throw them right on the grill. And that's what I eat for my for my meat. Um. Um, yes, I did. Um, when I'm sick in the hospital, um, my landlord came in while Jamie was at the hospital with me. And I was, um, you remember when I was sick for a long time and they were giving me up. My landlord, um, came in and, um, took my cats. So I don't know where they went to. Even though I was paying rent for each cat. I'm not going to say what he did to him. It's sad. You could just imagine. Oh, I'm glad um, after a long day at work, you love watching my videos. I like to watch a lot of crafting videos and other YouTuber video cooking videos and relax, too, during the evening when I get a chance. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, Jesse. You know... It took a hard, long time for me to get over that anger. Yeah, but I'm okay now. Um, I plan on doing my memo zucchini bread recipe. I just haven't got around to it. Um, went after my memo passed away. It's been two years, baby. Yeah. Yeah, two years. Um, I got her little um recipe tin with all her recipes down in it. Um, that's what they gave me for a mento, for, you know, um, of her, you know. Um, my memo raised me. Um, um, my mommy died when I was two with cancer. That's the reason why they had to take me early so my mom could um start chemo and stuff so when she was pregnant with me she found out um that she had cancer um so i was a preemie and i was in the hospital for a long time because you, you you know back then they wouldn't let you leave the hospital until you got over five pounds um and um so that's how that went so, my mamma raised me and took me in because um, my daddy didn't think he could do it all on his own also because he was actually watching his, you know, wife die. And it just took him for a loop. And even though my daddy's still in my life, you know, he comes and visits. We talk all the time. Yeah, I fought really hard when I was little. Yep. Yeah, I have her little recipe box, and I plan on making her zucchini bread in it. She's got some really good recipes that I grew up on um, that I would, can't wait to do for you. Like, uh, probably two or three weeks ago, I had company over. And you, if y'all heard, if you're not Southern... You might not have heard of this. Um, chocolate gravy. I might shock you for that word. It's not really gravy. It's like a chocolate pudding. 
and I made that for them because they never had it, and we served it with buttered biscuits, and they fell head over heels in it, and I grew up on that. My memo made that, and I'd like to do that recipe for um, YouTube. <clears throat> I don't know why they call it chocolate gravy. It's like chocolate pudding. That's what it is. Like the old time chocolate pudding that they would make make chocolate pies out of, but not as thick. You know, you don't thicken it as much for a chocolate pie. Oh, Brandy, that's so cute. Yeah, I weighed four pounds and seven ounces when I was born, but then I'd fluctuate and lose a lot, and that's why I was in the hospital a lot, and I'd have to, to get me up, bump me up, you know, wouldn't let me leave until I was over five pounds. I had a lot, um, a lot of problems. I had a, like, um, I couldn't, I was, like, lactose tolerant. I'm not now, but I was on a little, so I had to drink but soy milk. And back then, soy milk was hard to find. Um, my favorite TV show? <clears throat> of course, you know the ones that I like The Walking Dead, The Fear of the Walking Dead. I like all the zombie stuff. But I also like the classics like um, Bewitched, Golden Girls, all the stuff that I grew up, you know, in the 80s with. Um, the Facts of Life. Um, let's see here. I'm just trying to think what else do I tape on my DVR. Because sometimes I don't har get to sit down when the vi uh, the show's right on. I have to tape it and then sit down when I get a chance. Get a break. Oh, the new Roseanne? Yeah, me and Jamie's been taping that and watching that. He likes it. He liked the old Roseanne, too. I like the old Roseanne. To me, the new Roseanne is not like the old show. But I do watch it. Yeah, my mama, I grew up watch with watching Dukes of Hazzard sitting on her, sitting on her lap. Yeah, of course, I grew up with Alf and all them 80s and 90s shows. I've seen that movie, Carol. My summer beverage to make. Um, of course, you know, uh, every day... Uh, every day or every other day, Jamie, we make Jamie spa water. I call it spa water. I think we've done a video on it. I know it was on the old channel. But it's just uh, water, and we put cut up a couple lemons float in it, and a little piece of uh, cucumber, and it flows your water. We drink that all the time. Of course, you know, I like unsweetened tea. I used to not like it, but now I do. Sweet tea, of course, you know, I use Splenda. Um, um, once in a great while, I usually will have a pop, um, I'm always a Dr. Pepper girl, but I use, I drink diet, diet now, if I'm going to have one. Yeah, I have one cat. And once in a great while, I'll have iced coffee, um, believe it or not, I actually had a cup of coffee, I'm not really a hot coffee kind of girl maybe a cappuccino you know a few times during the winter when it's cold to warm you up but um i had a cup of hot coffee yesterday and it was we've had it for a while um i decided to use some of it up and it was starbucks peppermint mocha that i bought during you know the holidays times at my local grocery store 
and I had that, and I put a little splash of milk. Oh, and it was so good. But once in a while, I have I have a, I'll have a, a cup of hot coffee, black or a little bit of milk in it. Um, I am a big hot tea girl in the mornings. Instead of coffee, it's tea. I like green, um, chamomile, jasmine, Darjeeling, um, British tea. There's all kinds of tea. Yeah, and green tea, yeah. I drink a lot of green tea ice, too. We rent. Yeah, I do have had chai, and I like it. I like that for, like, in the fall and winter, winter times, but I do like chai. Um, you know, you know, spark... We don't hardly go to Starbucks because it's like an hour and more away from us. So we just get if Jimmy wants to like kind of make like a Starbucks kind of drink, he just makes his coffee, and then we like for like the fall time, the uh, pumpkin latte. We put a little bit of uh, a tablespoon of real pumpkin puree in down on it, and put a little bit of sweetener and a little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon, and. Maybe a splash of milk, and that's what, you know, that's what we drink. We try to create our own. Um, my title is going to be, um, my cookbook is called um, Simply Sarah's Kitchen Recipes. It's, I just kept it as the name of the, you know, my cooking channel. I do like smoothies, too. Yes. Oh, don't get me started on watermelon. I oh, I could eat and eat and eat, eat watermelon. Now, strawberries, I have to take a little paring knife and peel like you do a potato to get all the seeds off for myself. But I adore strawberries. And pineapples. And mangoes, yes. Um, somehow, like when I do try to do a mango, I always try to get them already frozen in the uh, uh, frozen station. Already done, you know, taking all the peeling and they're chunked up because somehow, even though if I wear gloves, if any part of my body touches the skin of mango, I break out like rash, big pelts and stuff. I don't know why, but when I eat the fruit, I don't. It's just the skin. So, that's why I already get it already, you know, chopped up and frozen with the skin off in the freezer section. I love I love fall, but my favorite holiday is Christmas. I guess because all the Christmas memories with Mamma and the family and it's about togetherness and you know you just during that time you just think about all the memories, you know, of the past. And all the new memories that you're making. I can't have the seeds because of diverticulitis issue. It's where they get trapped in my intestines and they get infection. And some one time, well, actually a couple times, they got bad and <sighs> bored a hole. And affected other parts of my body. Yeah. So, I try to watch so that I don't get affected end up in the hospital. Um, Jamie's actually one that got me started doing cookie videos. Um, he said, one day he came to me and said, that was when YouTube was just starting. And that's when we, if you ever... Any of you watched the old channel when we lived in a little apartment building when we just got married? Um, he came to me and he said, you should see this YouTube. People have cooking channels on it. You should do that and share your recipes of your mammals and yours and your families and friends. And you interact with people. So, my first video on my old channel that I had up before I took it down, I did the um, orange Kool-Aid pie. If you, 
if you ever, any of you ever remember that. I still need to recreate it and put it on my new channel again. Um, um, yeah, I used to have the old channel up and I took down because of a lot of bullying and stalking and death threats. And actually, um, physical death threats. So that's why I took it down and stuff. But then I got thicker skin and now I don't give a hoot. Um, so I started the channel back up and we had the old video saved on our computer and the old computer went out and we didn't have a backup for the uh, old videos or I would we put the old videos up. So we lost everything of the old old videos. Um my favorite dish is pasta with a lot of veggies in it. Um I have I had two brothers and um they were um Stepbrothers, right? Mm -hmm. no, and half -brothers. No, it's not stepbrothers. Why am I thinking steps? Half brothers, and um, because my daddy was married before he married my aunt, mommy, and she was the second second woman. Um, they passed away, so I'm all by myself now. Um, but what really, since my mama adopted me, my mama had, um, nine kids. So, really now, since my mama adopted me way back in the 88 or 89, something like that, somewhere in the era, <laughs> um, my aunts and uncles became my brothers and sisters. So, now, if you want to include them, I have four sisters, and it's Sander, Pam, Carla, no, three, and it, three, and then, um, if you want to include my uncles as my brothers, it'd be... Sam, Sam just recently passed away. Tom, David, Doug, um, and Donnie. So five. Oh, you didn't miss anything. I just doing an invite to my live Facebook paparazzi party tonight at seven p.m. Eastern Center Time, and in the default down here in the description, it has the link to my Facebook page, um, well, the Facebook group that is my paparazzi group that where I do the live videos. That's all it was, and now we're just chatting and stuff. Um, luckily, I can't have kids. I have tried, and I've got a lot of physical stuff wrong with me, um, that they can't fix inside. So, the only way we can have kids is if we foster or adopt. And you all know that Jamie has a lot of his physical problems. So, right now, we don't see kids in our future right now. But, I grew up raising my niece and nephew as my own. And, um, so I had my little feel of motherhood. You know, I helped out raising them and stuff. And they're still my babies. I call them as my babies. As my own. And they call, they call me, you know, not mommy. They call me aunt. Yes, I got the Vitamix blender. Yes. And I've been planning on doing videos using it. Yes. Oh, that is so sweet.
No, we're just, I'm just sitting here answering questions before I have to go do some other stuff and get ready for the party tonight. Because I got to do, I've got to close the Tupperware party tonight before I do my paparazzi party. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on and I've got company coming over. Favorite instrument? Um, actually, Jamie got me a few years ago a wedding flute, and I'm trying to learn to play it. I'm not good, and I don't think it's the actually real good wooden flute. It's a cheap one, so it don't sound as good. But um, I like any kinds of instrument. No, I've never been to Georgia. Yeah, I stay busy, yep. Yeah. Hi, Sarah from Ireland. Um, I just do recipes. Like, sometimes I watch some cooking videos on Food Network, and if it's something interesting... I might do a, a kind of my take on it, not follow the recipe at all. I will take add-ins and add my own to it and do it. I, um, of course, you know, um, I subscribe to some magazines. Um, so they have recipes in them. I just look at stuff. I have cookbooks. You know, I'm a cookbook hoarder. Yes, I admit that I'm a cookbook hoarder. Um, I always have been. So I go through it, um. Um, type in recipes online, see what pops up and goes through it. That's, you know, the handed down recipes. It's an invitation to my paparazzi party tonight. I'm trying to get him to make more videos, yes. I'm working on a cookbook, Ron. No, you can't have too many cookbooks. I do watch Reed Drummonds, yes. Um, um, I don't have a favorite on Food Network. Of course, you know, I watch the Rachel Ray um, show. During the, during the day, well, I tape it until I finally get to sit down and watch it. Um, there's so just so many that, you know, sometimes I catch and or tape and watch. I don't have a, well, I really don't have a favorite kickback. Uh, we're working on it, so I don't know when it's going to come out. So it's a long process. I don't know, but I'll keep you all informed about my cookbook. Yes, I already said sushi, yes. As long as it, it don't have, I like the ones that has the veggies in it and stuff. I'm not, I've tried it with the raw fish in it, and I'm not very fond of it. Um, I've had, um, I stopped eating tilapia because they said it's not good. So, if I get fish, it's either cod, um, like last couple weeks I got flounder, it's the first time I ever had it. It was okay. I'm not fond of it. So, cod, halibut. I used to like to get salmon or tuna steaks. But they say that's not no good either. So, I don't know what to get. Tell you the truth. So, I usually stick with cod or halibut. Um, the one That's the ones I have tried. I can't remember if I have done sausage and peppers or not. Um, I know that I have taped several videos and sometimes they don't turn out and you guys don't see them. I think that was one of them. So, 
So I need you. I think I need to redo that one. What's your favorite meal to cook? Pasta with lots of veggies. You know I'm a veggie girl. Yes, I have ate catfish before. Yes, Jamie don't like catfish, but I I do. He says because it has a strong taste. Yeah, I'm going to try to do more Irish recipes. I do have a lot of gooseberry patch uh, cookbooks. Yeah, it's so funny. Yeah. Y'all know I'm a cookbook quarter. I have had flounder, but maybe it's... Maybe it wasn't a good brand that I got. I should say that. I've never had haddock. Haddock. I guess that haddock or haddock. I don't know. I haven't had perch, no. Um, I started wearing makeup. You know, again, you've seen some of the cooking videos, especially on my live show. You see me wearing makeup. And I started breaking out. I have tried so many brands. And so, that right now, I'm going makeup free to see. You know, I have a lot of breakout, you know. And especially, like, um, last week, Friday, I had makeup from, from my paparazzi show, but that night, after the thing was over, I had to go take it off, and I was so red and blotched out, and, and puffy, and, and rashy, and big blotches, and everything, so, I, I haven't had makeup on since then, so I'm trying, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with it. I used to wear it off and on in high school, so I don't know. The jewelry ain't going to be on right now. It's going to be on my um, live Facebook uh, paparazzi party tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, I've never made that kind of cheesecake. I love all vegetables. Carrots, peas, broccoli, um, cauliflower, um, eggplant, squash, zucchini, mushrooms, especially. You know I don't like mushrooms. There's, you know, there's lots of veggies. Snow peas. Sugar snap peas. Well, there's just so many. No, I haven't. I grew up with a garden. My mom did and stuff. And so I always, you know, helped her with and stuff. But when we um, lived in our little apartment, I had, like, little potted plants on the patio of, like, tomato and lettuce, onions and stuff like that. And then when we moved into this double-wide trailer, um, I did some outside. And I'm not good at them. I don't know. I don't have a good... I guess say green thumb, but I have house plants that I can do wonderful with. But when it comes to other stuff, I just don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Sometimes I get tribal and uh boho type earrings yes i'm all into that i love them i've never made are you talking about making homemade pasta i've never made the homemade pasta but i do want to get it try it at least once or twice but I, um usually when i eat spaghetti and meatballs i eat the spaghetti with the sauce and leave the meatballs to everybody else um i don't think i have one i have that up on my channel that's my problem too the insects and animals my neighbor's dog was comes chomping on it and then you know i live out in the country so we've got squirrels chipmunks beavers anything 
anything the neighbors and we got some chickens up the road and never had they we've got all, st all kinds of stuff you know um so my stuff get i've tried it and they get ate up or they get that black blot i guess what you call it um that's what my mama used to call it back then all right i'm going to spend about five more minutes on and then i'm going to probably end this stream but I love coming on and chatting with you. Yeah, I plan on doing biscuits and gravy. Yeah. I've never made real crepes. One time when I shopped at Kroger, um, of course, I don't shop no more because that's an hour and more away from me now. Um, I got the crepes already made and then you heated them up in the pan. So I would like to... Um, try my hand at some homemade crepes. And you know, all know that I love mushrooms and spinach. No, I don't can in the fall. Um, like I answered earlier, um, I've only done water bath canning and I've, that's Jameson jellies. Um. I'm kind of afraid of the canners on the stove because, you know, I've been, my memo can and one exploded one time, you know. And so I've always been worried about them. Um, so, but Ball has the electric water can canner and the electric pressure one. Um, so I'm thinking about investing in them down the road and maybe do some stuff. Now, I have canned my, um, I had a neighbor help me. <laughs> That's the only reason I uh, did it. Can my own tomato juice one time. My neighbor gave me lots of tomatoes because he was trying to get them used up. So um, I had a friend come over and help me. And then I gave them some of the tomato juice to take home for help with me and stuff. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, my mamma, when she came to around Cannon, she didn't want to, none of us kids, even when we were older around her, you know, you know, you just stood back and kind of watched from a distance, you know, and she would talk, what t tell us what she's doing and tell us, you know, t tricks and tips, you know. But I guess she was scared that we were going to get hurt or we were going to make the canner explode or I don't know. It depends. I get them from all my recipes from everywhere. So I some I. I created my own head and right out. Yeah. Um, you can always, if you can't come into my live Facebook paparazzi parties on Friday, I have the link that's already in the default to my paparazzi uh, website that's up 24-7. You can always shop there. And, yeah, when you can, you got to be careful when you take them out and, you know, not let error hit them, you know, because they can bust, you know. Yeah, I've seen that happen, too. Um, all right, see you tonight. Uh, shell, shell bell? It's as I would say, shell bell. Um, I've actually only had Chick-fil-A once, and then, you know, I had the copycat recipe for chicken, uh, Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Um, if I have to do fast food, which is, sometimes we treat ourselves to one to three times a month for fast food, and it's usually I pick a day when so much craziness is going on. And I'll pick up a pizza. Um, we live in a small town. I have to go to the next town over. And that's still a small town. But a little bit bigger than ours. So what they have over there is pizza. They have Papa John's. Little Caesar or Giovanni's. I pick up a pizza. That's maybe one of them. But they do have a decent Chinese a restaurant takeout over there. You can eat in or takeout. We do like it. Um... 
course, you know, they have the, all the other fast foods. They have McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, Wendy's, Hardee's. We used to have a Pizza Hut, and I loved it, and it went out of business probably eight or nine years ago. But that was my go-to if I was going to choose pizza. But usually we get it from Giovanni's or Papa John's, whoever's running specials. Um, and then the, you know, Chinese is one of them. We, we used to have a lunch on Silver's and it went out um, um, for years. It was there for years, ever since I was little. And it went out and I missed it because I like their fish in the chicken. And especially the hush puppies. Um, and then we also used to have a Dairy Queen. And that went out of business a few years ago too. Of course it's been more than a few years. I'd say about 15, 20. Um, on that. And we have a Kentucky Fried Chicken. So that's one of them. Sometimes I would get a meal bucket. You know with all the you know little fixings from KFC. So that's. They're like Chinese, either Chinese or pizza, cookie fried chicken. And sometimes I will go get a burger or a chicken sandwich. Uh, um, the veggie burger at Burger King is pretty good. It's usually what I get if I'm going to do something kind of like, like that, you know, at a burger place. Yes, I'm from West Virginia. Okay. Yeah. Well, I used to like the dark meat. I was a chicken leg girl. Um. Now I'm kind of like just it's just the white meat, you know. Um. You know, like when you pick up a whole chicken, sometimes from the grocery store, or you make get a whole chicken and bake it. I will eat the dark meat from there, but um. Usually, it's, I'm picky, and I'll eat my uh, white meat if I'm going to have it. Sometimes, I don't even eat the meat at all. I will load up veggies and have a little mushroom, uh, not mushrooms, but mashed potatoes on the plate and um, do a biscuit. Just very little mashed potatoes because I'm not a mashed potato girl either. I know this might be weird. Yeah, I do like chicken wings, yes. It's in the, Elizabeth, it's in the default description to my, um, the 24-hour website, my paparazzi website. And then there, the also, there's a link to the Facebook group where I go do my live paparazzi parties on Friday nights. Yeah, thighs are good because they're more fatty and stuff. Um, I still, you know, cook with thighs and stuff, too. I don't know where that is in West Virginia yet. Nope. I'm the only one that cooks and bakes. No. No kids, or you could, well, I could say that my niece and nephew are my kids, because I helped raise them. No, I probably will never, but I have watched a couple of videos of the mukbang, or I, don't, I hope I'm saying that right. Yep, one cat. Yeah, I'm in the mountains. Recipe ideas from everywhere. Cookbooks, magazines, out on my head. T uh, you know, um, cooking shows on YouTube and also um, TV. It's everywhere. I do like me some barbecue chicken. And barbecue wings. I do like barbie. I don't really care for barbecued um, ribs. I have a few homemade pizzas on my, on my channel. Well, 
Ooh, pineapple cake sounds good. That mukbang is where somebody eats for their video. They eat their dinner or lunch or what? My kitty is named Mr. Winter. Because he's born in the wintertime. Pasta is my favorite food. No, I've never heard of that sushi meal. Um, we have been married 12 years, but we were dating for like two or three. And then we were engaged for another two or three years before we got married. Yeah, taste the whole magazine. Yeah. Yeah, they say we need poor... We need more of the poor little rich man videos, Jimmy. All right, I'm going to say, uh, uh, turn off this video now, and thanks for popping on and chat with me. I hope to do a lot more videos like this. Um, I'll be doing an invitation for my Tupperware party. So tomorrow, I'll, when I do it, when I come up live, we could chat again, too. All right, see y'all tonight if you come over. Bye, everybody.